In this short video, we will be demonstrating how to set up your instrument and run a test. Please note, this video is for demonstration purposes only. Tests should be carried out in a laboratory environment and according to health and safety regulations. Firstly, plug in the power supply cable and switch on. From the start screen, select the operator field and enter the user details. Press the green tick box when complete. Select the sample field and enter your sample details. Press the green tick box when complete. The method ASTM-D8073 and IP624 is already pre-selected. Press the green arrow to proceed. Follow the on-screen instructions for the test preparations. Lift the sonicator arm by pressing and releasing the lock button. Prepare the sample as per the test method and pour 220 milliliters plus or minus 10 milliliters into a new test beaker. In accordance with the test method, the beaker must have a concaved bottom. Place the test beaker on the sample holder and press next. Lower the sonicator arm, press the lock button and press next. A new filter must be installed for each test. Lift and rotate the cartridge locking handle. Insert the new filter into the filter port. Then lift and rotate the cartridge locking handle back, inserting the tube into the filter. Pressing next starts the test. The screen displays the test cycle. The detector is flushed with solvent. The instrument is then primed with the fuel sample. The filter is then primed. With the sonicator running, dyed water is added to the fuel sample. The sonicator cycles on and off to form a homogeneous emulsion. The instrument runs a reference sample, bypassing the filter but through the detector. The detector is then flushed with solvent. The fuel sample then runs through the filter and the detector. At the end of the test, the result is displayed on the screen. For more information, please visit www.stanhope-ceta.co.uk.